Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I guess I can still say Happy New Year is still January. So I guess I can still say, I can still say Happy New Year. And I'm not going to wait for anyone today. You can always rewatch this video. It's just going to be a very quick one. So today I've decided to come live on Parenting Essentials. Uh, we are starting the year on a very good note. On a very good note. And today I'm basically going to be talking briefly to those who are vision carrier parents. So those who are already on the journey, they are intentional about parenting. And those are the people I am going to be talking to today. I'm not waiting for anybody to join me. But if you are there, let me just know if you can hear me. And uh, yes, let me know if you can hear me. I'll just keep talking so because people can always rewatch this video. But if somebody is there, let me be sure you can. I'm audible. Before I go ahead, if you are there, you can just let me know. I'm audible, but I guess I am. I guess I am. So I um, just want to talk to the parents who are already intentional, who are already on the journey, who are carrying their vision, their parenting vision, and who want to go on the next level in this 2022 uh last uh, last week uh it was a live it was on our youtube channel I already started on what notes oh thank you thank you the kingdom i can see you right there please can you hear me am i audible sir please confirm if you can hear me clearly all right very good thank you very much thank you thank you so uh last week i already started talking about what are the things we need to do in uh for us to be more effective in our parenting this year. Um, it's still early in the year. This is still January. A lot of errors that we did last year. And at the end of last year, I had a lot of recording. It's there on our YouTube channel talking about what were the things that worked out. And why were they able to work out. And what were the things that couldn't work out. Miss Remy, I can see you right there. Miss Remy, thank you for joining me. Thank you. I'm always glad to see you join me. Uh, so, and I said, what were the things who, that couldn't work out? And the best thing and the easiest thing to do is to mark those things that didn't work out. I can see you. Miss, Mrs. Shomari, I can see you. Thank you for joining me. What were the things that couldn't work out? And what are the way forward? So this year is about way forward. Just like I said at the beginning, I think nobody was there then when I started. I said, this video is particularly, thank you, my love. Thank you. This video is particularly for those parents who are intentional. See, we have some parents, they are already intentional. I believe everyone here, uh, maybe we are parent, caregivers, or intending parent. I believe we are all intentional. We want, to, we are really carrying the vision of being, uh, sorry about that, my hair piece dropped. Sorry about that, my hair piece dropped off. So I believe we are carrying the vision of being intentional in our parenting. So we have some who are not already in this journey at all. They are blank. They are novice. They don't know what they are doing. Though they are parent, but they don't know what parenting entails. So that's, you know, that's another story entirely. So for, for us who are already on this journey, who carries this vision clearly, and uh, this few minutes is just for you this time. Just like we always say, only the vision guide. Only the vision guide. The vision that you cannot see, the revelation that you cannot see, it is going to be very difficult for it to come to realization. You know, the access, the assessment is going to be very difficult. So we, I want to encourage every parent this morning that ensure that your positive parenting vision is clear and carry it jealously. Let us be intentional. You've been intentional before now. This is 2022. Your intentionality is key. I tell you, parenting is not... I, 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 I speak a lot about marriage and I say to people, I don't see marriage as difficult work. Maybe because it involves two adults. But when we talk about parenting, I tell you, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So every day, being intentional, being carrying the vision with clear understanding, is going to help us. It's going to strengthen us. It's going to make us ready for the next day. It's going to make us ready for the next day. It must be a daily decision. Don't give up on any of your child. Don't give up on your children. If you cannot see anything now, don't worry. You will see it tomorrow. One step at a time. 
one day at a time. So I'm here today to let you know, being careful in carrying your vision and intentionality in your parenting is very important. Is very important. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you, Miss Joanna. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. So today, I just want to talk briefly on our roles and responsibility as parents this year. This year, 2022, year 2022, what are the things that we want to look into as our roles and responsibility as intended parent? Don't forget, as parent who already have the vision of being intentional on our parenting. So the first thing I wrote here, I have said before, I said uh, the vision must be and the revelation must be accessible. It's, it's very difficult if it's not clear. So if you are an intending parent and you want to be intentional in your parenting, just think about it. After getting married, being a parent, what do I want to achieve? How do I, how do I want to go about my parenting? And for you is already a parent. How can I move ahead this year? What are my roles? What are my responsibility? I said, don't provoke your child. Don't provoke your child. Many times, many times, we provoke our children. Last year, that was the end of end of uh, end of last year video. I was talking about us checking ourselves as parent, checking ourselves as parent, checking ourselves as parent. You know. To be positive and to be intentional, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be only your children centered. It must be entire family. Sometimes we use all our strength on our children. You need to get this right. When are you going to do this? But we don't, we don't take moment to reflect on ourselves. Okay, as the mother, as the father, am I doing this thing right? Is this a perfect way for me to do it? This thing that I'm doing, is it provoking my child? So we have to be intentional, we have to be intentional this year that we are not going to provoke our children. When we provoke our children, it gets them discouraged. Ensure that this year, as a parent, being father or mother, a caregiver, that you are not going to provoke them. And if you are not intentional, if you are not taking a pause to check, uh, is this a provoke, uh, what am I doing? It might be difficult for you to know that maybe you're provoking your child or not. You just feel I'm the best parent, I'm doing the best for my child. We can't just say every time I'm doing the best for my child. Is it all centered? Sometimes it's about what we want to see. It's what, not what the child needs or what the child is ready to achieve. Ensure it's not what you just want to see. Is your child ready? If it's a milestone, don't just push the child. It's good to give our best, don't get me wrong. It's good to give our best. But it's your child mentally, emotionally ready for that particular thing at that time. So we should ensure that we don't provoke our children or else they get discouraged. They get discouraged. We can provoke our children when we, you know. Okay, I'll just give an example. I remember some something very, very nice scenario. So imagine your little one, maybe let's say age two years. Maybe, or three years they're about. Sometimes you allow them to brush their teeth by themselves. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you, they brush them by themselves under supervision. And you are asking your child in the morning, have you brushed your teeth? And the child said, yes, I have. Meanwhile, you are very sure that that's not so true. It's not true. The child has not brushed the teeth. But the child said, yes, I am. At that moment, what came to your mind first is, my child is lying. Is it that you scream on the child? That was a lie. You've not brushed your teeth. Or some African parent or some even Asian parent, they give out slap. Come on, not in this house. I don't take nonsense. In this house, we don't take nonsense. That was a lie. You end up screaming and everything like that. Meanwhile, the child, see, that thing looked like a lie. Screaming on your child on something that looks, it looked like a lie, but it wasn't a lie. Children sometimes, especially the brilliant one, they retain some memories of the event that happened. The child to the child I brushed, maybe the last night, I brushed my teeth before I went to bed. And when you're asked in the morning, it was still, the last brushing was still fresh in the child's memory. The child is not, it wasn't a lie, but to me it was a lie. So how could you have prevented, there was a way that you could have prevented something like that. Why not ask? Do you mean last night? Have you brushed this morning? This morning. I mean this morning. Did you brush your teeth? 
you see some children, oh, 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 that's true. It was last night. It was last night. So it's what I call correction in error. Correction in error. So sometimes, do you know we can be overzealous as parents? We don't want to take no nonsense. I don't want to take nonsense. This, I, I have to be positive in my parenting. If care is not taken, we can do it in a very wrong way. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video that this is for those who are already intentional in their parenting. We need to, most of the time, take a pause. I think, I'm talking to myself also. We did a lot of errors last year. This is the beginning of 2022. And we want to get better. I think going forward, we have to learn to take a pause. Breathing helps a lot. Just breathe. Sometimes we talk about anger management for parents. And we don't look at it. We don't see it. We just want to control our children who is hungry. And yet we are correcting them in hunger. I'm talking about correction in error. Your child doesn't mean to lie. The last event that you ask, the same event, the last one is still fresh in your child's memory. Maybe your, your primary level child, you ask, have you finished your assignment? Meanwhile, you are asking because you can see from the notebook that it, as the assignment is not all done. And you ask your child, have you finished the assignment? And the child said, yes. The next thing is hot slap. Why told you to stop lying? Come on, the child didn't see the one that is still pending. The child didn't get to check well. So let's always take a moment to relax and confirm. What about this page? Or you just shout, I hate when you lie. It doesn't, we don't take nonsense in this house. Mommy, relax. You don't be the nonsense yourself. We need to relax this year. Be more calm. Be more calm. Let's ensure. See, I've spoken about clear directions before. So as parents now, we have to be clear about, uh, what would I call that now? We need to also be clear about the situation. Clear situation. So that we don't provoke our children to anger. So if this thing is happening every time and psychologically, it's going to affect your child. Especially when sincerely your child is not lying. Like, I don't mean to lie. It wasn't the light of the child. I didn't see that part of the page. But you have seen it as parent. So let's learn to relax. Let's learn to ask well. Let's learn to double check. What about this page? What about these things? Don't let us always jump to conclusions. Don't conclude so soon. In the name of I want to be a positive parent. You know, we, want, we can be intentional, we can be a positive parent and still be doing it the wrong way. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video that this is basically for us, for all of us who is already intentional. Who are ready, we are carrying the vision, we want to see greatness in our children. We want our children to better the world at large, considering what is happening around the world today. Don't be too hard on your children. Take charge of the situation. Have a clear understanding of the situation. And I believe, please, you can drop a point. You can let me know what are your roles and responsibility or what are the things you want to change this year. You can just drop it on the comment section and I'm going to read it out. Personally to you, what were the things that you think last year I didn't do well in this? I can see a lot of people and I just want to see one comment from all of you all. What is that particular thing that you feel you want to change this year? Can I just drop the comment? I'll read it out. For me, I think I want to be more clear of the situation this year. I want to be more clear of the situation. I want to always take more time to understand the situation so that I don't misjudge my children. That is one of the things for me this year. So please drop your own comment. What, are, what is that thing that you really want to work on this year as a parent? As an intentional parent, as parent who is vision carrier, a positive parent. I can't see anyone drop comments. Go ahead and drop your comment. All right. Uh, I, I put down in my notes, I said safe environment. This year, ensure that you create a safe environment for your child. Very good. Somebody said, I want to stop shouting. Please do. We need to all stop shouting. Shouting most of the time doesn't help. Most of the time, it doesn't help. Let us all stop shouting and screaming. And that brings me to the second point. 
safe environment. When we are used to shouting and screaming, it doesn't make our children to have the sense of safety most of the time. And they don't, it's, it reduces their level of trust for us. Even when they want to share their, their private life, they feel mommy is going to shout. I don't know what she can say. I, I, I broke the toy. If I tell her now, she's going to shout. She's going to scream. So we have to let them see us as friends, also as a disciplinarian. And it's a very tough work to balance being friends to our children and being a disciplinarian, be still being an authority. That's what I mean. You still want to be an authority, uh, authority and you still want to be your child's friend. So it takes screaming and shouting out of it so that your child can have a safe environment. Your child will not panic out. <sighs> you just see some kids, they can't go out anymore because their children, their parents at home, they always scream at them. They can't breathe well. <sighs> mommy, mommy, mommy. You want to let your child to lack, lack self-confidence. If you want your child to lack, to have confidence, please stop screaming and shouting. Let them see reasons. Give them room to explain. This year, I want to be more involved in my physical, in physical activity with my son. That's good. And that's one of the things I put in my note. So we are all together in spirit, if I can say that. So we should be more involved this year in their education, in their academics, in their physical life. I know we are busy. Yes, I understand. I know it can, it can be so tiring. But there's nothing that should take more time than our children. Don't forget, we call them our growing glory. You want to see them in future and say, wow, you pat yourself. Do you, don't you want to pat yourself at the back in future and say, oh, we saw you, you did well. Mommy, oh yeah. Like my children will call me sometimes when they want to help me. Ah, mommy, oh yeah. You understand? I want to pat myself at the back and say, oh, thank God. I did it by the help of God. Don't forget Jesus at the center of it all. So let's get more involved this year. Try your best. Try, try. Get more involved. And there's something I put that I said, we should ensure we are not endangering our children. I'll try to explain. I don't want to use those words online or anywhere. However, we are all grown ups. So you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So many children were endangered from their home, from their immediate parents. I'll try to break it down. There are some compliments that you give your children that you have to stop it. Stop it. It is never a compliment. Some of these compliments you can't even give an adult, your friend, that you think it's okay to give your child. We need to stop this. You are end end uh, endangering your children. Safeguarding should be on the key for us. All we are thinking should be our safe. You know, we want to safeguard our children. In safeguarding your children, you have a lot of work to do at home. And that includes what we said before about screaming. I want to overlook some certain things. Bearing in mind that they are just a child and quick and, in, <laughs> and quick to anger. Thank you so much. You know, that's one of the things I put in mind. They are just children. So I'm, I'm so happy with the point I'm reading because these are the things I want to talk about. So we are all together in this. We are all intentional in our parenting. We have to look, we have to overlook sometimes. We can't just complain every time. I used to be the type that I couldn't overlook. I must tell you the truth. Not just to my children, to those who are my younger sisters. They know, some of them are here. I will talk. I pay attention to details a lot. And when I wanted to work on myself, in this i had issues i play at like i pay attention to details i prayed about it like god i want to overlook i can walk from morning to the night like i'm cleaning the house even when i had help in the house i was never satisfied they wash the dishes i'll go back and wash again and i just i i, I see the wall is dirty i want to i just quickly get sponge i want to clean it i feel it's good to pay attention to details on your children but there's some things you need to overlook so what i did for well, the therapy I gave my service, I started switching off my light in the house. It worked for me. I started switching off the light in my living room or around the house. So it really helped me to see less. I said to myself, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. And I think some of us need to adopt this method this year. I'm not saying we should be careless. Don't get it wrong. Not to be careless. However, don't hurt yourself. 
bear in mind some things are done by this child and some of these children we're talking about they're just two years three years four years five years they're just within the range of some of them are even less than 10 but our expectations are so huge they are not realistic we want them to understand the point one time i said it before why are you not getting the point this year we can't go that way we can't just afford to go on that route no we have to change we have to change back to my point i was talking about endangering your children from whom you are not safeguarding them you are not safeguarding your children due to your comments your compliments ensure see if you're used to telling your child imagine you're telling your three years old child even if it's an adult child you look the x word it's not about a compliment mommy can't you see yourself Look at the way you look, you look X word. Oh my God, it's not a compliment. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. I don't want to say it at all because it's not a compliment. So you see a lot of grown-up also still saying it online and everything. In fact, you are not allowed to use that compliment for your friend. It's not normal. Only that compliment can be used from husband to wife, wife to husband. And a lot of parents are used to it now. They're using it for their little ones girls because they they just make some gel pack for them what are you letting them think that is being endangering our children so when they get out and one uncle or one brother is now telling them so they are already used familiar to that word you know it's a familiar word in their house anyways so they can dig further outside so this year please let's ensure we are not endangering our children by using wrong compliments no wrong compliments. Let's it be the right word. I'm not even talking about age appropriate at this point. It's not good for one, it's not good for all. That compliment only if you're used to it, delete it in your head. It should only, only come from your husband. Only come from your husband or your wife. And I'm sure so many husbands that are already like they're used to it. They're not even used to that compliment given to their wife. Talk less of you giving to your child. Look at you. And they are even, look at your backside, you have like five years. Is, and the child is laughing and you are laughing away. On, uh, you are destroying the destiny of your child in laughing on unnecessary things. Please, let's wake up this year. It is not a compliment to one. It is not a compliment to all. Let us wake up. Check your words. Check your words. Check your words. This point really touched my heart. I've seen it over and again from parents. Another thing that is very close to my heart that we need to stop as parents is encouraging a rude child. It is very difficult for most parents to understand being rude and be smart. 2022, we can't continue like that. If your child is rude, it's rude. But if you don't know, how do you, how do you correct that child? If a child is smart, please don't take that child to be a rude child. See, if you need help, we all learn. We all take time to learn. I learn a lot from people. I listen to people. I watch scenarios. And I try to digest things. See, most of the time, as parents, we feel we are adults. I don't want to ask questions. I don't want to, oh, no, no. I'm also a mother on my own. I said in one of my videos before, I said, the greatest mistake you can do is to use your child as a practical, as an experiment. In the name of your ego. Oh, what is that? Let them not feed their big sister. What is that? Some of them don't even know that you don't have time for them. But they feel uh, she's looking at me. Especially me. I'm in that class a lot. People see me these days and run. She's going to talk, sweetheart, I don't have your time. If I talk to you for one time, it's because I love you. Dearly, dearly. Your child is your child, my child. My child is my child. People get these things wrong. Who is she? And you are using your child as an experiment, a practical. That is the greatest failure we can do. Don't gamble with your child. Never gamble with your child. Ah, a lot of parents, I feel like slapping them. Miss Remy, what did you say? Let me say, I'm guilty with screaming with my nieces and nephews just to get their attention. After that, I hug them. I know it's not right though. My attitude at work is different and I deal with it at home. Miss Remy, I know you very well and I know how you teach. You are an amazing teacher. And I think it's 
most of the time what you have said happened to teachers i've worked with you and i know i know how you work and i know it can happen to most teachers see we teach with so much love and uh, calmness and uh, patience in the classroom but when we get home we feel like this is my child you should get the point one time we we delete the fact that they are children also but we feel like you are my child you've been with me you are supposed to get every point understand everything you shouldn't be the same like the classroom you shouldn't be this they are also children you know, Marie, relax relax they are children and that was my idea before you know, even when my kids were younger, two years, three years, I feel, ah, you should get this one. Like, then I realize, oh, oh, yeah, you need to relax. They are children. And children, we always remain children. And our duty as parents and caregivers is to guide them. Is to guide them in the right path. So what are the important things I've said today? I don't want to keep us a lot of time. I don't know how many minutes I've used, actually. Let me see. Okay, 25 minutes plus. Okay, see, see. All right, thank you very much, Sister Bella. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. So this year, as we get started, as we get started, let's turn a new leaf. Let's be determined. Let's be intentional. Let us be a vision carrier mom. Carry the vision with passion. So much intentionality. Bearing in mind that your, glowing, your growing glory must be one of the people who is going to better this world at large. Except you don't want to agree with me. A lot is happening out there today. And start from your home by using the right word for your children. Especially in the area of safeguarding your children. See, I've come to realize something. Any clothes I don't want to my, my daughter to wear 10 years, I will not give her now. I will not give her now. And I think it's the Holy Spirit that whispered that to me. I won't give her now. If she's 10, will I, will I be happy for her to wear a bum shot or something like that or tube? But now we say they are still young. There is no features of grown up and everything. But we let them get used to it. And when it's 10, we are taking them. You can't wear this. You are 10 years. You are 15 years. But meanwhile, it's our fault. It's our fault. We are so comfortable later, earlier in life. Okay. All right, we were so comfortable earlier with these things in life. Oh, it's just a child. You are just too much. You are just too much. Whatever you will not allow your 15 years old to wear, don't let your five years wear it. Don't let your seven years wear it. See, this is for us who are intentional. Look at that child again, your girl child. Is this going to be okay when she's 15? That dress is barely covering the bum shot. I'm not talking about inside the house, going out. Don't get used to what you are not going to accept in future. Don't get used to it because it might be a problem. So it's part of safeguarding our children. And the word the, about the comment, please ensure you delete it. Let's be intentional. Let's be purposeful. Let's be vision carrier. Uh, I can drop one more point. Okay, I think that's all for now. I can uh, be involved in their education. Their education this year is very important. The homework should not be only only with the, uh, the nanny in the house. Did my child, did the, uh, has, has, has she done the homework? You never check. You never have time to even discuss what is happening in the classroom. Our involvement is very important this year. Involved in your child education, physical activities, everything. Even if you're not taking your child to like sport academy, Create a time, maybe every Tuesday night, every Thursday night. Be committed. Be committed to one day to engage in phys physical activity. Maybe football, throw and catch. Especially the little ones. Where we want them to achieve their milestone fast. We'll be part of the game. I've spoken about role play before. It's one of the things. Be part of the game. Your child can climb stairs. Your child has phobia for stairs. Turn it to a game. Go on the stairs. Count one, two, three, four, five. Make it on a lighter mode. See, mommy is doing it. Hop up. Your child can up. Turn it to game. Make some flashcards. Get some mat. Let mommy do it in, uh, like, do it and fall and smile. Up, fall down. Oh, ouchie. I just fell. Let your child see, oh, I'm not alone. We are in this together. We are in this together. Your child is trying to talk. Just go ahead. Pick your words. Two words, one word at a time. Encourage the child when the child make effort. Even if the child cannot open mouth yet. But you can see the effort. Give a clappy hands. 
give stickers. Your child can't move fast. They stand to run around the house. Some of you, my child is climbing the chair, so yeah, let your child come this chair if your child is trying to learn. But we have to be able to manage these things. Is it out of control or in control? Is it to learn with or to be disobedient with? So the grace for us and the ability for us to be able to differentiate these things is what I pray for this year for us as parents. You want to be your child's best friend. Still being an authority. It's not easy. I know. You just joke with this child now. And you want to say stop that. And you want the child to hear one time. It's not easy. But there is a way to eat that is not teachable. It comes from above only. And that's my prayer for you this year and for myself this year. That you'll be strengthened. You'll be strengthened. You have special grace. Wisdom. All we need as parents is wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom from above. Parenting is a hard work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But let's start with you. Let it start with me. The world is, is turning upside down today. There's so much chaos in the world out there. But the solution to the world problem, let it start in your home. Let it start with my home. Don't use negative compliments. Don't provoke your child. Don't correct in error. Correcting in error. Corrections in error. Assumptions. Assumptions. You are lying. Especially those of us who are fast to eating the child. Slapping. Kicking. Stop that. We, not, we need to stop. Don't correct your child in errors this year. And I'm just going to call it a day. If you have any question, you can drop. I'm just going to wait here for one minute. One minute. Yeah, it's 30 minutes. I have the plan to use 30 minutes. And it's a lovely 30 minutes. If you have any question for me before I call it a day, please drop your question. If you have any co uh, contribution, please go ahead and drop it and I'll read it out. And next week, I am bringing a guest on board. It's going to be fantastic. The title is The Vision. The Vision. I'm having a special guest next week. And I'm, we are going to be live by 1, uh, 1 p.m. GMT, GMT plus 3. So live next week, Saturday. The flyer is going to be out soon. So it's going to be like again. And this year, we are going to be having some sections like this. Even though every Saturday I have a pre-recorded and it's on our YouTube channel. But sometimes I'll be going live like this without guests on, uh, on, the, on my page. And I believe it's shared on the vision guide. And uh, if you have any question, I'll cons I don't think anybody have any question, concerns or contribution at this moment. And uh, jo just go ahead and visit us on our YouTube channel. It's called the vision guide the vision guide youtube channel we have a whole lot of lessons on our page go ahead and uh, don't forget to subscribe and that's the way you can support us shift the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload new videos thank you so much for joining me today next week is going to be a fantastic time there'll be a flyer for that uh, we, we me and my guests will be talking about the vision please make it a date it's going to be 1 p.m gmt plus three and i'm glad you're joining me today thank you very much thank you mommy all right thank you mommy alex thank you everyone thank you thank you thank you sister bella thank you for joining the kinomo thank you for joining uh, as much people as i can see i'm blocking the camera sister vera i think you are still there mr remy you are still there thank you for joining somebody is here bukumi oluwa bukumi oluwa Omoshalakme, sorry, I don't mean to. Yeah, Omoshalakme. Thank you so much for joining us, Ma. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you for everyone who has joined us today. We say thank you. I'm not taking this moment for granted. I really appreciate your presence on this live broadcast, and I'll see you again next week on an amazing topic with a fantastic guest that says the vision. God bless you and stay blessed. Don't forget, we have to be intentional. We have to carry our vision in our positive parenting with passion, with clarity and clear understanding. Seasoning our words with gold. Let your words be good and not garbage. Your word should be good and not garbage. Don't provoke your children to anger. Don't frustrate them. Have a clear understanding of every scenario. Don't be quick to judge. Don't be quick to beat your children. Only the vision guide. Bye for now.